everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds of heavyweight action between Muhammad Ali and smoking Joe Frazier. Muhammad Ali's supremely confident here. Look at him make his way down to the ring. You can just see it in every step that he takes. Joe Frazier's approaching the ring now. And this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Well, they're scheduled to go to full 12 here tonight. Round one now underway. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. To the belt line he goes with a left hand. Unable to make an impact there by Joe Frazier. Able to dismiss that body shot. Teddy, I'm assuming many times in your career, you were training a fighter who did not have the reach compared to his opponent. When you were training him in the build-up to that fight, what did you try to cement to his head? The one thing that I had told him is something I had to tell myself, is that we had options. The first was, of course, the traditional way. Tuck up good defensively, move your head, and work your way in. Slip a punch, and now all of a sudden you're closer. You take his height away. The other is to step up and get sort of enticed the taller fighter to come in and be short. Frazier's got to deal with a cut around his eye. Now, it looks like it's below his eye, so we'll see what kind of effect it has. Nowhere close that punch by Joe Frazier. Forceful hook by Muhammad Ali. Goes up top with a right hand. Good uppercut by Joe Frazier. Another flush shot lands upstairs. Lands a big hook. Good step back counter punch there. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're going to see. Joe's not that shy about bringing it early on, but what can we expect here? Bringing it early on. <laughs> that's exactly what you're going to expect, and that's what you're going to get. Frazier's hurt by a superb hook to the head. Well, that's his signature punch right there. Joe Frazier landing the hook. And now he's targeting upstairs. Frazier's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Well placed jab straight. Good shot to the head with that right hand. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. End of the round here. And you can see the fans really enjoying themselves tonight. You know, Teddy, I think maybe more so than any other sport, boxing fans are not just passionate like in other sports, but they are smart and savvy. They know the game inside and out. Well, they follow the contestants. They do understand the parameters of the game. 
And you know what? They come here and they kind of demand from those fighters the performance that they expect from them. They expect the guy to box. You hear them every once in a while saying, hey, come on, you know, let's get that jab working. They act like coaches sometimes. You see how Muhammad Ali does that right there? Beautiful flush hook. Muhammad Ali is not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man's fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. A solid true uppercut by Joe Frazier. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Targets the hook after blocking that shot. Ali's coming up big here early on in the fight because he just showed his opponent, hey, listen, you got to be careful. I can counterpunch you. No better way to slow down your opponent. You know, we know the other way you slow him down. You hit him right on the chin and you make him say, hey, I don't want to walk in. But when you make a miss and you counter, that slows him down too. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Nice strike after catching one by Muhammad Ali. Frazier's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That's solid. What a great job by Muhammad Ali's opponent that time. Listen, Ali's the better fighter. Ali's got more experience. But just going out there, Muhammad Ali makes that decision that a champion fights on. Gets up after the knockdown. We will see what he still has left. Nothing there on the punch by Joe Frazier. Well-placed counterpunch by Muhammad Ali. You had to Get see it to believe road. it the first two minutes of these rounds. Now these fighters are trying to make everybody a believer in the final 60 seconds. And this is why you understand the dimension of this sport like no other sport. At the end of this, how both participants will have mutual great respect for each other. He is wobbly and damaged and just flailing with his arms trying to punch back. See, he's got his guard up really well that time and it protects his head. Headshot Lance was a hook. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Move those feet! A little head hunting with the right. Scores big with the hook to the head. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Later stages of this round, he's going to try to survive it. The bell he is saved by the bell oh boy Teddy he's in a world of hurt now only 60 seconds in front of him and you know what less than 60 seconds it took him five seconds to get him on that stool so right now they can't concentrate just on telling them things and he needs to be told why he got hit but they gotta get ice on him and they that's a clean shot able to get in with the right hand Joe Frazier showing us some of those survival tactics that he's picked up as a pro. Was knocked down earlier, and now he's in survival mode. And that's exactly where he needs to be. If he wants to. Big shot. Ocell said it best. Down goes Frazier. Unfortunately for Smokin' Joe, it's not the first time he's heard that tonight. Frazier's not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. <laughs> Boxing writers are going to have a field day with this early knockout, Teddy. Praising one guy and tons of criticism is going to be targeted on his opponent. Yeah, two ways you could criticize his opponent. One is that obviously his technique was not right, and that came from training camp. But the other is more directed to his corner that they didn't warm him up right. I mean, he came out cold. There was no sweat on him, and he got starched. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.